Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a Supreme Ruler 2020 video. So, yeah, I've started, uh, uh, well, I'm in, um, where are they going? Where are they going to repair? Apparently up here. To Shikudami. But yes, I've continued my expansion, uh, in the African Empire and stuff, and it's pretty awesome. So we just took over, like literally just took over Quebec, and now I'm moving my uh, main military force to take over Nova Scotia, and that will, besides Newfoundland, which I'm going to have to land troops in somehow, um, I've taken over the entire east coast after that. Then I just have to take over parts of s the remaining parts of central uh, Canada and America, Michigan and Minnesota, and the two remaining west coast states, of course I'm going to keep BC and Alberta in one piece because they're my allies. So one day I will kill them, but uh, today is not the day. So I've taken over pretty well all of uh, America and North America at this point. The only country uh, I haven't fully taken over and will never fully take over is Canada and, of course, a couple of the states. So once those are gone, though, that's it. And then I'll move all of my forces into Southern America once again to take Argentina uh, Uruguay and Chile. So, yeah. Uh, I think Argentina is going to be a long battle, but, uh, and Chile might be one as well, but it all depends on how and what happens. Um, I don't imagine Uruguay will be too lengthy, just because their troop count is minimal at best. So, yeah. Um, it also kind of sucks that Argentina did take a large portion of uh, the southern area of Brazil. So, have a little bit longer fight uh, to get to their capital, which is Buenos Aires. So, yeah. That's literally it for America now, is just them. The three South American, and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven North American. And of course, we have all of Europe, which you all know. And uh, when we took over New York, we also got uh, Saskatchewan, which I completely forgot about, which was hilarious. Because um, when I warred New York, I uh, obviously was paying attention to the actual war with New York because they had a very large, very, very large military there, um, like exceptionally large. And um, so, of course, I was concerned with my troops and everything. I was like, oh, shit, what's going to happen? And, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. And uh, so I, I completely forgot that they owned Saskatchewan and they... Uh, by the time I zoomed out because I was taking Albany and I was going to take Albany, I zoomed in here and they had taken such a large portion. They, they were down to, like, here in the Midwest, so it was pretty ridiculous. They even had uh, Manitoba taken over. So, yeah, but uh, since I didn't notice them, I did get, like, all of their troops that were sitting here, and it was, like, 50, 60 tanks and a whole bunch of other shit, and, uh, yeah, it was pretty fucking awesome uh, to get those troops. And I also took over Northern Canada... And Alaska, which was a little bit difficult because the supply was kind of fucked up, but uh, we got it done. Now I'm building a road between Chinu and uh, uh, the highway there to connect to Whitehorse and the rest of the country. And yeah, Alaska, of course, didn't put up any real fight at all, so any units they had, I kind of I, I uh, got. So yeah, it was kind of a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, lengthy war there, but it wasn't too bad. And, of course, there's their air, a little bit of Air Force there for Northern Atlantic defense, apparently. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, so soon we'll be done with North America completely, and we'll be turning our attention back towards uh, Asia, which will be the final besides Oceania, which I am at war with Australia. But I have uh, land in there, which I'm going to have to land troops in... Uh, here in uh, Numia, whatever it's called, and uh, launch them into Australia. I'll probably land here-ish, I imagine. Hervey Bay. Probably Hervey Bay. I'll have to get some ships to take out that uh, sub, but that's okay. So we'll probably land there and uh, hope for the best with that. But that will be our final uh, conquest, because there's not much point in destroying the Australians yet, all things considered. So, yeah. But Asia's going to be a bitch just because Asia doesn't seem to like to war itself very often, besides, of course, the Chinese warring each other and, like, Vietnam and stuff. But even their wars are kind of weird and uh, awful at best. So, um, 
yeah, it's just there's nothing really happening um, besides Vietnam and Thailand making fairly large gains in southern China. Uh, the Chinese obviously are going to be a bitch, but the real thing I have to worry about right now is the Indians, just because they don't have a lot of troops to attack me with, but it's it's just going to be really, 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 really annoying, um, because they have so many units just sitting there bombing you, and so many planes to bomb you, and, it's, and like, New Delhi is nestled in this, like, massive clump of fucking cities. It's just such a pain in the ass. Like, to take them over is just unrealistic at best. So that's going to be kind of a bitch. I'm going to have to pull every force I have to do that. But I'll probably take over Moscow, Western Urals, um, probably Western Sahara. Um, but that one's going to be kind of difficult. It's going to be very even matched fighting because their troop count is ridiculously large. And so long as that works out, we'll uh, keep going and uh, attack Central Siberia and uh, then probably Mongolia and uh, your Garagaragistan, and uh, kind of see what happens with that. So, yeah. Uh, we'll have to see what happens, I guess, with that, and hopefully good things happen with our northern attack f strategies and such. I might take over Mongolia, then take over uh, Inner Mongolia, and then try to get that land there, and then with any... I'll try to get like this land in here and stuff, and then attack Manchura and uh, see what I can do about that. Because uh, if I can attack them, then I can attack the uh, Eastern Siberians, which is very, very good. And uh, I also want to uh, eliminate South Korea, if I can, before I take the rest of the Chinese. Because the rest of the Chinese are going to be a total bitch. Like, look at that. Just look at that. It's ridiculous. And they're all fairly modern, too. Like, Tiger Eyes and Supreme... Uh, what are they? Supreme what? I have a whole... Supreme Tigers. Yeah, they're kind of a pain in the ass. Southern China's still fighting Tibet, of course. Tibet's not doing very well about, with that, because Tibet has no troops. Poor Tibet. Feel bad for them. But yeah, that's the world in my eyes. Of course, I still own fucking everything that matters, and I am the world's superpower. Um, my economy's taking a little bit of a hit, though, from taking America, and it's kind of annoying, actually. I've been trying to uh, fix it, and it's not working out too well. But the only thing I'm down on is uranium, so I don't know. But yeah, so we currently have a population of 2.7 trillion, not trillion, <laughs> um, and land is almost 50 million square kilometers, which it easily will be by taking over Ontario and Michigan, and all those kind of places. So yeah, let's uh, attack Nova Scotia, though. Because, why not? We should battle something. Because battling things is fun. So, let's blow them up. <laughs> I like how they're all like, yay! I'm actually going to put them right into Hull, I think. And then they can fight Ottawa for no real reason at all. Let me do, because uh, they'll be next. I'll be fighting uh, Ontario next. And then I'll fight Michigan. And then we'll have Minnesota surrounded. So we'll just stack that from all sides, split up their troops. They don't have a chance in hell. So poor bastards. But that's how it's going to roll. So they should get used to it. Is that Minnesota land? No, that's Ontario. It is Ontario. So, yeah. Nova Scotia actually has some troops, though, which is interesting. I honestly did not expect to see things that can shoot other things. Expected maybe a couple tanks, but uh, nothing like that. Good on you, Nova Scotia. You actually built something credible uh, in the time that you have. That time is obviously minimal. So, can't, can't expect the world from good old Nova Scotia, but uh, we can expect a fight, I guess. Got a bunch of engineers and stuff, which are units you know, that just, like, never die. Like, ever. So, just have to fight them off long enough to uh, have them be destroyed. They do have fighter planes, though. Thunderbolts. We have Supreme Tigers, though, so it doesn't really matter. And Freedom Fighter planes. Stuff left over from, uh, from our fight with Quebec. And yeah, we're just destroying them completely. 
We're going to pull out most of their troops before we even get into Halifax, for Christ's sakes. Although, I think we're going to have to take Shearwater. I don't think we have much of a choice in that matter. Oh, well. What is Shearwater? Naval, air, and one land. Okay, then. So, Shearwater is Nova Scotia's everything. Yeah. If you didn't know that, now you do. What's that? Oh, engineers. <laughs> Fighting like 10 engineers here. And let's destroy them all in the name of the of the awesome. A lot of my troops are repairing too. Which uh, doesn't help things too much. I'm obviously going to wait for our troops to repair completely before I can attack Ontario. So I'll probably attack something in Europe. Maybe I'll fight Moscow while I wait. And that engineer's dead, and we've defeated Nova Scotia's military, what they had of a military. So, that's pretty awesome. So now all we got to do is just fight down into there. Of course, they're going to be like, oh, invade, oh, invasion, oh, fight the mortars. Oh, they have a lot of planes to come in. So you, you guys fight that off. Yeah, their planes are actually pretty hardcore. Like, they're... They are shooting. They're shooting at us, and they are not giving up. But they will, in time. They will know it's futile. We're being bombarded, are we now? Oh, the industrial complex we just take, took over is now being shot at. Well, that's what happens, I guess. Um, apparently my troops just want to keep moving, so I guess we'll attack that. They're like, yeah, fuck it, let's just not stop. Let's just kill everything, brah. It's like, okay then, sure. Why not? So many units sitting in here now, like, it's ridiculous. Caro, that's from Texas, I do believe. Yeah, it's unfortunate, though, that they're losing that supply. Well, we did take over CFB. Shearwater's ours. So, what? We have to wait for supply now to get down there, and then we can just invade Halifax. Just complete invasion of Halifax here in a minute. And then we can wrap this video up. And there's so many droops, just like, we need to go here for no real reason. Except for going there. Just try to clump all my troops together again. Come on, supply! Jesus Christ, how slow are you? Repair. Waiting for supply. God damn. Just needed to get as far as... Shearwater. So, you know, not that far. I love how, like, like to drive from uh, where that tank is right there to, like, you know, the south shore down here. So, basically, like, driving from where that tank Abrams is down to where this GMT is and those troops is, like, four fucking hours. It's not an easy thing to do. You don't just you don't just get up one day, like uh, and these troops are just spreading out completely, spreading out there. It's kind of funny actually. So yeah, let's attack Halifax. Let's get that down, and then yeah. Oh yeah, I I I don't know if I said this. Oh yeah, I did. Of course, I took over Iceland and shit. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I took over. Nothing really over this way that I took over at all. I didn't really attack anything, except for Volgograd. I did take over Volgograd. That's the last thing I think I attacked. So. So, yeah. Yeah, I do believe that is the last thing I did attack. Let's keep pushing Halifax here now that we have more than enough supply. Let's push it. Push it, push it. Push it. To work it. Do, 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 do. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Just going crazy. 
Otherwise, my mouth is really far. My, my mouth is really far away from my microphone. Come on, two garrisons. We got this shit. And then we have all of East Coast America. Yay, including Canada. I know you're not technically American, Canada, but... I'm Canadian, too. I know your pain. <laughs> I, I'm attacking my fucking hometown right now, for Christ's sakes. There, I took over my hometown. I now own my home. Hooray. Now let's send them all to repair. Just all of them. Treasury benefits, how much? Seven, eight million dollars. Well, you know, didn't think they'd have that much in their treasury. But apparently they do. Come on, take it over. Give me those two oil things. There we go. Nova Scotia has been eliminated and is now a part of my glorious empire. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.